Hey, good afternoon everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own cereal from scratch. Uh, this is a recipe that's so simple, even people that think they can't cook can make this. Uh, you need three ingredients. You need some quick oats, three cups of that, half a cup of honey, liquid is good, and a quarter cup of ghee if you can get it, and if not, use half a stick of unsalted butter. Okay, I made up a batch earlier that I'll show you now. So this is what you're going to get when you're finished. This is a starter recipe. Um, you know, you can add whatever ingredients to this you want. If you want to make it with cinnamon, if you want to put some almonds in, um, you know, cranberries, raisins, whatever you want. Okay, I just like it like this and it's a good place to start. So first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 300 degrees. In a small bowl, combine half a cup of honey and a quarter cup of ghee or half stick of unsalted butter if you're using that. Give that a stir. Then put that in the microwave for about a minute until it's melted. Measure three cups of quick oats in a large mixing bowl. Add the melted mixture of honey and ghee or butter. Mix it up really well until all the oats are coated. Then turn the mixture out onto a non-stick cookie sheet. I use a pancake flipper to make this because uh, it's just so much easier to turn when it's been in the oven for a while. So spread the mixture out fairly evenly. and just pop that in the 300 degree oven for 15 minutes. When it's been 15 minutes, pull the tray out and get your flipper and turn the mixture over. If there's any dark bits at the edges, just try to mix them into the center. After it's mixed, even it out with your spatula and then put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Time's up. And take it out. Yeah. I just want to show you next to it. This is a pretty reliable recipe. It comes out nearly the same every time. I mean, give or take a minute or how you stir it. So, what I want to do now is just take the spatula. Press it flat and let it cool off completely. Uh, that's how you're going to get the chunks. If you uh, take it out now, it's all just going to break up in little pieces. It's all cooled down now. So just get in there, pry it up. Now you don't have to worry about breaking this up, it will do that on its own in a container. I mean unless you got a really big piece like that. Yeah. 
So that's how you make cereal from scratch. I do hope you give this a shot. You'll find that it tastes a lot better than the stuff you get at the stores. And you have control over your ingredients. And if you make it on a regular basis, it does work out to be a lot cheaper, even with the cost of the unsalted butter. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.